In this video, I want to be talking to you about project cost management. I want to give you some context and understanding of the role of project cost management in successfully delivering projects. Project cost management, by definition, is the set of processes we follow to ensure the project can be completed within the approved budget. So this project cost management, the set of processes we use to achieve the project scope, to deliver the project, fulfill the requirements within the approved budget. Okay, another and more simple way we can think of project cost management is that the goal is to ensure the project delivers more value than it costs. So that's the goal of project cost management, to ensure the value delivered by the project is greater than the cost of delivering the project. So when learning a new concept, it can sometimes be helpful to reverse engineer the concept. So rather than thinking about what it's trying to do, we could think about what would we have to do to fail in achieving the goal? So what do we have to do to fail to achieve the goal of project cost management? Well, as we said, the goal of project cost management is to ensure the project delivers more value than it costs. So how can we fail to deliver more value than it costs? Well, we can incorrectly quantify the amount of value we're going to create. So that's before we decide to proceed with the project when we're doing a feasibility study, we, we might incorrectly quantify the value that's going to be delivered by the project. We might overestimate how much value the project's going to create. We can then incorrectly estimate the cost of delivering this value. So based on the project we need to fill, we can incorrectly quantify how much it's going to cost to do this. So we can incorrectly estimate the cost. And then finally, once we move into project execution, we could also spend more money and be wasteful and spend more money than we originally planned. So those are the three ways we can fail to deliver on the outcome offered by project cost management. Okay, so then to ensure we fulfill the objectives of project cost management, what do we need to do? We need to accurately quantify the value delivered from the project. So we need to know what value the project's gonna create through a feasibility study. We need to then accurately estimate the costs of delivering the project scope, that's estimating. And then during project execution, once we've decided to proceed with the project, we then need to control costs and spend less money than what we budgeted for. So if we do those three things, we will fulfill the outcomes of project cost management and we're gonna ensure that our project delivers more value than it costs. Okay, so if we then take this concept of project cost management, we know the purpose of it, we know the goal is to deliver more value than it costs. And I know I keep repeating this, but I just want it to stick. We can then look at the set of processes that fall into project cost management. The set of processes that fall under cost management are the processes to plan our costs to our feasibility studies, then estimate the costs of delivering the project, work out how much the project is going to cost, budget for the project. Once we've created the estimate, then turn this into a budget, which we're going to use to manage expenditure during project delivery. We also need to finance the project, so we need to manage our cash flow and the timings of cash flows to ensure that we've got enough cash to pay our bills during project execution. Then we need to manage and control costs during project execution. So we need to spend less than we originally budgeted for. So these are the core processes of project cost management. Let's start by defining some of the core concepts in project cost management. The first one we've got is project costs. What actually are project costs? Well, project costs are the costs of all the resources required to complete the project scope. So anything we have to spend to acquire the resources necessary to complete the project. And these project costs can fall into two main categories, direct costs and indirect costs. So direct costs are the cost to complete project activities. So direct costs are costs directly applicable to completing portions of the project scope. For example, if we're building a bridge, the cost of the concrete foundation, so excavating holes, pouring concrete, fixing steel, all these activities that form part of that specific activity fall under the direct costs. On the other side, we've got our indirect costs. So the indirect costs are the costs not directly specific to an activity. These can be things like the cost to supervise and manage the works. We might have to have a project manager for the duration of the project, and they'll be overseeing lots of different tasks related to lots of different scopes. So they're an indirect cost. They're not directly attributable to any specific activity. Okay, so now we understand what project costs are. Next, we need to understand what estimating is. So estimating is the process of accurately calculating 
the cost to complete the project. So we've already defined a cost as something we have to spend to acquire a resource we need to deliver the project scope. Well, estimating is the process we follow in the pre-construction, pre-delivery phase where we work out all the resources we need and how much they're gonna cost so we can come up with an estimate of the total cost to deliver the project. But yeah, so an estimate is created in the pre-delivery phase. Before we start delivering the works, we work out how much it's gonna cost. Once we then begin to spend money, we need a budget. So a budget is a financial plan for the resources to be allocated during project delivery. An estimate is different to a budget because an estimate is a build up of the cost. A budget is how we're gonna track and manage expenditure. They might sound very similar, but there's an important difference. An estimate is compiled based on the most logical way to calculate the cost. Well, our budget is all about how we're gonna spend money. So we take our estimate, we need to transfer it and create buckets of money for how we're gonna track and manage expenditure. So estimates that put together based on the easiest way to calculate the cost, budgets about how we're gonna track and manage expenditure. So I know this difference might sound semantic and be a bit confusing, but they are different. Estimates are different to budgets. So I'll give you a specific example. When you're estimating the costs of a construction project, you'll need to make an allowance for personal protective equipment. So gloves, goggles, shirts, hard hats, these sorts of things. Now, typically estimators calculate these costs based on the number of man hours worked. So if we're working a thousand man hours, 2000 man hours, whatever it is, they might choose to calculate this cost based on total number of hours and make an allowance of a dollar an hour, $2 an hour, something like that. Now, when it comes to project delivery, we're not going to track how much we spend on PPE based on the number of hours we work. We just want a bucket of money of funds we can use to track how much we spend on PPE in the total budget. So we need to take the estimate, the build up of the costs and transfer this in a way to track expenditure. So while the total dollar value of an estimate and budget will be the same, the way the costs are broken down are different. Estimate, it's all about how we put the cost together. Budget is all about how we track and manage expenditure. Okay, so we've estimated how much the project's gonna cost, and then we've broken it down into a financial plan we can use to track and manage expenditure. The next component we need to add to this to truly understand cost management is finance. So finance is the method used to fund a project. Important element we add to the, to the definition of cost when we're talking about finance is time. We need to understand the timing of cash flows and how much cash the project's gonna to require to pay all its bills. So within the concept of finance, we can talk about securing finance from lots of different sources to fund a project. You can borrow it from a bank using debt or whether you can take on and use equity from within the company to finance it. But it's all fundamentally about managing your cash flows. So you've got enough cash in the bank to pay the expenses of the project as they occur. Once we start spending money, we need to monitor and control costs. We need to be confident that we can deliver the project for less than the budgeted cost. So we can deliver it for less than the original cost we estimated so we can make sure that the project isn't gonna lose money. That's what we use monitoring and controlling costs for. So we track the amount we're spending against our budget, we measure the variances, we investigate the variances, we understand why we're overspending in certain areas and then we address those problems to bring our budget back under. So the whole goal of monitoring and controlling costs and cost control is making sure that during project execution, we don't spend more than what we originally estimated. Okay, to summarize what we covered. So project cost management encompasses the processes and practice required to ensure that our project delivers more value than it costs so that ultimately our project is a success. Consists of many different sub-processes, including estimating, working how much things cost, budgeting, creating financial plans to track expenditure, financing a project, so making sure that our cash flows are positive, and then controlling costs during project delivery to make sure we're spending less than what we budgeted for. Integrating cost management is a holistic approach to all of these different sub-processes to integrate them together to ensure our project is a financial success. So that's what we're gonna talk about during these, this course. We're gonna talk about all these different sub-processes, how you can integrate them together to ensure that your project delivers more value than it costs.